Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'm sorry I missed you last week. We tried recording the show from the airplane, but they just weren't having it. So here's your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last two weeks. Time to do final testing of your Android apps for Android Nougat. Developer Preview 5 is now available, and it's the final one before Nougat begins rolling out to devices later this summer. This preview gives you near final system updates for all of the supported preview devices. Find the post linked below for more details, including how to get the preview. An update to the Android Wear 2.0 developer preview is now available with wearable drawers enhancements, wrist gestures, and more. Getting started details are on the post. Like most kids app developers, Story Toys had the challenge of engaging with the right audience. Since the launch of the family section on Google Play, Story Toys has experienced an uplift of 270% in revenue and an increase of 1300% in downloads. Take a look at the video linked below for more. Showcase your game at the Google Play Indie Games Festival in San Francisco on September 24th. We're accepting submissions through August 14th for this opportunity to show your title to the public and compete to win great prizes, including tickets for Google I.O. 2017 and Google Ad Campaign support. The marker clustering you're familiar with on the Google Maps SDK for Android and JavaScript is now available on iOS as well. Don't miss out on your analytics while your progressive web app is offline. Check out this post and grab the NPM package for everything you need to handle offline Google Analytics requests within your service worker. The latest mobile ads garage covers AdMob's native Ads Express and is now on YouTube. Get more powerful bid automation with Smart Bidding, our conversion-based automated bidding across AdWords and double-click search backed by machine learning. Examples and links are on the post. Stack driver error reporting is now generally available on the Google App Engine standard environment. No setup is required. It just works out of the box for Java, Python, Go, and PHP applications. Two machine learning APIs that are part of the Google Cloud platform are now entering open beta. The Google Cloud Natural Language API lets you easily reveal the structure and meaning of your text in a variety of languages. And the Cloud Speech API allows speech-to-text conversion in over 80 languages. Head over to the blog post for more details and links. As always, check out the description below for all the links. Don't forget to subscribe and send us your questions with the hashtag AskDevShow. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.